hi friends and welcome to my channel in this video I will show you how to create uh, mounting features mounting some more features I will add in this door shell okay uh, please watch my first video so that you will understand how to create the basic structure of a door and here I will add some feature that is breaker mounting here and I will split in this area and uh, all around mountings I will add all around this mountings here in this area uh, so that uh, door trim panel will mount here okay all around in this area okay and one stiffen structure stiffness structure I will add here some small uh, dimple like structure let's begin how to create okay before starting uh, to create further modification of this part first i will delete all the blends all the edge blends so that it is easy to create further features more features okay this is my initial surfaces i will show you these are my initial surfaces see these are important surfaces i explained this about this main surfaces these these three surfaces okay first i will offset this main surface this surface by 35 mm 35 mm and uh, i will offset this this surface say this surface by 0 mm offset this face by 0 mm okay this is my initial surface Sorry. law extension okay i will split this surface to create the flange or all around flange to create all our flange we split this surface trim this card okay okay so sorry first thing I have, we have to do is I need to extend in this area so I will delete these faces I will show you just delete these faces ok I will extract this one surfaces extract geometry ok in the same way I will extract this surface I will offset this surface sorry first thing I have to do is these surfaces I will hide this surface I will offset this one 40 mm Now I will uh, extend the sheet. Same way here. I will extend this sheet also. Trim this. is fine okay now I will give fillet uh, 
number 30. Just I will split this surface, trim, trim the surface with this. Sorry. Okay, in the same way, I will split this surface with my main surface. These are the main surfaces I already explained. Trim the surface, this one. No flange is created, one flange is created all around. See, these are the flange I have created now. Now I want to split this in this area. First I will sew these two, two surfaces. Before splitting I will increase this area. See, this is very narrow. This to this is very narrow. So I I want to increase this length here and here here too. So uh, what I will going to do is Control W. I need sketches. Okay. So I will. This is the sketch initially created. I need to reduce this length. Just to hide all these surfaces so that you can understand what actually I am doing. Three one nine minus thirty. Okay. I will reduce this one also. Seven hundred. This to two thirty. Let's see how it looks now uh, this area is increased right this area is increased this area is increased. but height is not increased Give one eight height. This height I will reduce five forty. Okay, this is also increased. I need some more. Twenty. 
now i will extract curve curve on surface select this surface select this face reverse direction press ok now take the law extension this one and the vector is this one reverse direction and an angle of Twenty degrees I have given and the fifty mm seventy sixty will give or seventy. I am giving roughly when you are designing you need to consider many things. Mm -hmm. Same law extension and take the edge. Sorry. Take the edge and vector this one and ninety also okay here Now join these two surfaces and trim and extend. Trim, extend. One more feature is created. Now add, add some proper fillets. Filleting is more important in plastic or sheet metal design. The second feature is created here. Okay, now we will move to third feature that is mounting all around mounting. Before creating mounting, I will extrude this extrapolate or extract this edge. There is a reason why I am extracting this again. Curve, curve offset this on this plane. I will explain you how why I am creating later this line importance. I will create mounting in this line. Offset curve field. This curve is created only for mounting reference. To create the mounting reference, this curve is created. 
Now I will create one datum plane. It is minus one ninety nine. Okay. Just draw a simple sketch. Or thirty five mm, I will give thirty five mm is too small. Forty. Finish this. Same use extrapolate. Sorry, lie extinction. Mm -hmm. Surface with this one. Two sides asymmetry. Okay, this is fifteen mm depth. Okay, ten mm I will give. I will add one more blend here or I will fill this area. Let's fill this change it to G0. G1 G1 means tangential continuity. It will take the tangential continuity. Let's see this too or can give face fill it. Premium fillet I have given premium fillet. Okay. Now we will give offset this fillet. Where is my offset? Offset. I will trim this one again. Okay. One important feature here is give some points. See on curve control point. Distance of say one twenty. Same way, other point two forty. I will show you one example. Please follow other. Here, I will show you some. Uh, Important command that is pattern, pattern with pattern with general this option. 
select the feature select the point specify the point and specify other point okay see pattern is created right Sorry. In the same way create this point like these points all around wherever you require sorry create before creating the point create points before pattern okay and trim this I will show you trim and extension trim Trim and extend. Okay, all patterns like trim and extend. Select trim, trim. Okay, it allows only one. See. I will show you one more time how to create the pattern pattern geometry see before creating the pattern you need to create one point center point of this one and one datum axis is uh, required I have created this one and X axis is this one my Y axis this one okay now take pattern pattern geometry pattern geometry okay select this surface specify point and specify other point see this one okay and specify if required this one specify one more point this one like this this is important this should be general okay this area okay okay all around you need to create now trim this shape trim this pattern trim trim this with surface okay. trim pattern with my external boundary okay now in the same way trim my sheet sheet with this trim part sorry trim the sheet with these boundaries okay Now I'll add speaker mounting. Okay. For speaker mounting, we need one sketch. Okay, before creating sketch, I'll create one more datum. 
it is minus 210 ml okay hide this this is my plane and this is my point just to draw on rough sketch give some fillet Exit, exit this sketch. So four, exit. I'm not going to constrain now. I will constrain it later, according to the shape. Just fill this boundary. And again, I need just up to here. Same law extension. Select the surface and vector is this one, and uh, this will be one sided reverse direction x to the right and give an angle of 35 and 35. Sorry. Join these two or give some face blend between these two surfaces and okay and again split this surface with this boundary Now same way, split this surface into this point. Oh, and up to this. Okay, same way, give law extension. This one reverse direction ten okay and fill this again and it should be G zero and again to this surface. I will join these two these surfaces two three and four and I will again trim trim this with the surface okay this is my speaker mounting speaker is going to mount here in this area now important concept is here i will add stiffen structure 
stiffness structures now we will do one thing we will give all the fillets all the proper fillets all around and uh, i will add this stiffen future in my next video okay like i will create like 10 minutes video uh, here i will explain there i will explain okay thank you guys thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel i created all around fillets now and uh, please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching